This episode is proudly brought to you by Studio Headphones. Studio wants to revolutionise the way people see headphones as not just a tech device, but also a fashionable accessory. Studio are offering 15% off any purchases by using the code QUESTION, that's Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N, at checkout. And the best part, you'll get free international shipping. Check out their collection of headphones at studio.com. Remember to use the code QUESTION at checkout for 15% off your order. Welcome to the Questionnaires Podcast, where each week we source the best questions from Yahoo Answers and attempt to provide the best advice from... Can cats be allergic to other cats? To... How are glory holes made? We're here to prove that every question deserves an answer. Join with me this week, as always, is Marcus. Hello, Tom. And Damien. I'm going to go back on our whole ethos. Maybe some questions don't deserve an answer. <laughs> well, you don't want to know how the glory hole is I made? I do not have it. I want to know how they find that the glory. The funny thing was, Marcus, when we were looking for the questions, he goes... Here it is. I've got it. I've got it. No worries. Guys, I found it. I found it. it. I found the perfect question that everybody needs to answer. We always let Marcus have his have his say in like a ridiculous intro question. (laughs) I feel we just let him take over. Yeah. Like, look, if if, if there's only one thing I do in this podcast, it's the ridiculous questions that you hear in the intro. Do you think there is anywhere in the world where like in, a some glory hold in the world, right? Right. Where there is like a mini Shawshank Redemption thing happening with like a poster <laughs> over the glory hold type of thing. Scratching away slowly. So, it, so yeah. you, like, you pull away the poster of some girl like with like... like posing. Like, yeah. Posing in like a bikini. Yeah. And there's a glory is. Wait, hole Is this in like it. a restaurant? Like where is this in like a TGI Fridays or something? Where well, are they digging this glory I was thinking of a hole? service station. But okay, a like, service like, station. Like a petrol station. Have you guys come across glory holes in your travels? I don't think I've ever I've seen one. I've never seen a glory no. hole. And, I, and if I had seen a glory hole... Across America too, we did. Yeah, and you see one. Not even well, a single. I say well, across America, we went through one state. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. California is probably and, just like and, I'll and, suck your dick out here. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> more we've got we don't any holes, baby. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's it. No, it, to be fair, our travels there was like very limited service stations. Okay, yeah, and we were like, I even go to Tom like we're gonna run out of petrol. Yeah, there was <laughs> that worry at one stage. Yeah, and we're like, don't worry, we're coming through a town. It was a ghost town. There was okay. just nothing. It was there. actually interesting, but yeah. that's it. Only ghost sticks. That's yeah, it. Right, they don't need holes. They can go through all They can go through the whole... Casper ain't it. never used to that. <laughs> <Not glory hole. laughs> I've watched every episode of Casper, never seen that happen. Never before. seen a glory hole. I like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I am afraid of those ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> because of that reason. Uh, I don't want that stream. Oh, no, no, out. no. Um, hey, if you both be busting nuts, instead. <laughs> you don't cross streams, David. You never do. That's the reason why. It's also relevant. Um, if you were listening up the front, we did have a little ad that played prior to this podcast starting. Yes, and we do also want to mention that we do have a competition relating to that particular ad. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you to Studio. We yeah. are able to give away a set of headphones that are worth about two hundred bucks that's to right. one of our lucky listeners. That's yeah. right. So, However, Tom, yes, we're throwing a competition. That's right. That's in order right. to win these headphones. Yep. But we're not going to reveal those details until the end of the podcast. Yes. Yep. So you have to listen to the whole show. And usually when we have nothing to talk about at the end, we actually have something this time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So be sure to stick around until the end of the show. We'll go through the competition details where you can win yourself a pair of headphones brought to you by Studio. Oh, yeah. But until then, guys, we're not here to talk about that. We're going to answer some questions from Yahoo Answers. It's what, you, what we do each and every week. We're going to try and find a question, provide advice, Get these people through their life. What we do most weeks. Most weeks. If you if you listen to us throughout the hundred and fifty you know episodes, yeah, you know the formula. Done, you know the formula. It's right. broke. Formula, don't fix guys. it. It might be broke, but anyway. <laughs> the other thing we do is we choose a theme to name the question askers, and it's Damien's theme this week. Yeah. yeah. So the week we're recording this, uh, All Hallows Eve, Halloween, yeah. has just passed mm-hmm. yesterday, and it got me thinking. If you were, to, let's say, you were to move out, okay. we're not yeah. in the current situations with our partners, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, you have to get a new roommate. Yeah. Except the stipulation is they have to be one of Universal's classic monsters. So oh, yeah. your, your Frankenstein's monsters, your yep. Wolfman's, yep. etc. Yep. Right. Yep. Many classic characters. Yep. Yeah. But who would you want to live with and why? I want you to name your question okay. askers after that. Yeah. All right. Would anyone like to volunteer as tribute? I'm gonna go. Okay, first. Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Go for I, it. I feel like I've been last the last few weeks. Okay. Let, first? Let's hear. Who, just, oh, who do you want to live with? I want to live. Pick. I want to live with the Invisible Man. Pick one. Invisible Man. I don't want to ever see. This guy <laughs> at all. Where's my roommate? He could be here. Yeah. But as long as the red shows up, I don't care. <laughs> that fucking guy. see money floating across the room. <laughs> yeah. But also, isn't that the double edged sword, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's say you go into your room for some private time. Yeah. And how do you, how do you know he's not there? Well, you know what? I always perform better with an audience. It's all right. <laughs> like, I mean, that's the problem. You might go sit down on a couch. 
and you sit on your, your, your roommate. You yeah. might go to the toilet, think nobody's in there, go to sit on the toilet. He's on there. So you'd feel him as well when you sat on him, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd actually feel yeah, him. You, you, you'd be aware. You'd he's be got aware mass. I guess he, you would have to, he would have to wear clothes at all times so you know he's there. Yeah, but then how, how often would he just be like, yeah, I wasn't there. Did you see any clothes? But he actually was. Right. You know? right. So he, he could just there. free ball out. and he'd be, he, he could be the worst roommate. You might have picked the worst one. I don't know. You have to have some sort of like um spray that you could like a around and it lands on him. Yeah. So you know he's there. Yeah, you'd need like heat vision goggles maybe. That's what you need. Like the... No, yeah, yeah heat vision, I, I, I would need something. Vision. I would need something to alert me where he is. Yeah, no, for, sure, for I, sure. I get it. I get it. Yeah, but I mean, he'd be out of the way. <laughs> yeah, but I think I, I, I think I'll be fine. You just like the idea of him not being there not anyway, being there, not being seen, not being heard. Yeah, but what I about think... the fact that he is he 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 is there? Yeah. And what, why are we assuming that he doesn't want to talk to you as well? I don't know, mate. Look, look, look. Oh, but you, you could, you could look po- far too into it. All but right? this is the whole point, which we're we're poking holes in your justification. Hey, yeah. I want the invisible man. Right. Do not tell me okay. what I can and can't have. As right. a good man, you got him, mate. You got, got him. him. Don't, okay. worry. Good. don't worry. You guys can't take him. He's all yours. Take right. him. So the invisible man, good roommate. All right. All right. Guys, all right. I don't care hey. what you guys say. Right. He yeah. writes in. Cool. Invisible man. When you wake up with somebody spooning you that you can't see, we won't. Me and Tom won't be here to help you. All right. Hey, hey. It'll be all right. It's cuddling. <laughs> all right? I don't mind. Anyway, he writes in, Invisible Man. Is it normal to be upset that you weren't asked to be in your friend's bridal party for her wedding? Okay. Mm-hmm. She was the maid of honor in your wedding less than a year ago. Oh. She had a bridal party of seven people, one being a sister and six other friends. And I was not asked. That's huge. She also didn't ask me to be involved in anything. I feel our friendship is very one-sided. Invisible man or invisible woman in yeah. this case. So, yeah. so this is a she's got a maid of dishonor. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I, I, that's I don't right. think I don't think she's a a friend indeed. Uh, where do you think uh, a wedding party caps? As like, far as how many people you can how have? How many? In there? Uh, look, that's fourteen people in a wedding party. Assuming they're doing the mirrored, like the bride and groom have seven and seven have each, the same right? amount. Yeah, that's fourteen people. Yeah, that's a lot purely of purely standing on the sides. I think. I think. Look, I think it's personal. That's an prep. indoor soccer team right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, 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 they could, the really good team can really do they, a, yeah. a lot of good things in futsal. But that being said... I mean, not that I really care, but no. what do you guys think it's, is a reasonable it's amount? So if I would have to think, I think seven on each side is fucking ridiculous. Seven, that's, is, yeah. seven that's, is a lot. That's an army. All right? that's, you've got your own personal army as a bridal yeah. party. That's a bit too much. I think it's personal preference. I think everybody has their different amounts. I think the, the common number... I would like to think is three or four. Yeah, that's, three or four that's is probably good. Yeah, true. I think if you have one, it looks a little bit like us, oh, very small. Like if you're having an intimate wedding, one will be okay. Yeah. But other than that, but then if you go to like three or four, that's a nice even number. Seven is just too many. Some people have but, a hard time like leaving people out though. Well, that's exactly what I was going to lead into with the invisible man here. I would be less offended if the bridal party was two or three people. Because it's seven people and you still didn't make the cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. speaks like, that speaks volumes. Yeah, so much, so much volume. What, yeah. what do you think the most of a bridal party you've seen is? How many is the most that you've seen? Uh, the most I've, I've I've been in the most. You reckon uh, you've been, you reckon that one that we were both in we together? Were both in, what was that? Six was on each side. Six on each oh, side. Oh, was it? Yeah. So I, I was at that wedding. Was it? No, was it that no, wedding no, 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 wedding? no, 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 okay. no. Not Tom's wedding. Okay. Yeah. And another wedding. Um, one of our animes. Yeah, we were both in the bridal party, and I understand where he was coming from. He's yeah. like, I couldn't have one person and not the other, so he had six. Here's and- my next question. Yeah. Did he pay for your outfits? Uh, yeah. He did, yeah. Shoes yeah. as well? Because I know shoes you usually uh, pay for shoes, yourself. No, shoes, I think shoes, he just said, wear whatever you want. We brought our shoes. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's, I mean, that's a nice thing for them to do because yeah. they're taking on that financial undertaking <laughs> exactly, for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think bridal party is a, a, an extremely difficult thing to work out. Yeah. What uh, if I was to show you one that had 11? That's too many. I can't see it. It's, it's unbearable. No, I want to say, say, I've got a photo of it right here. Yeah, Let me right. also say that the groom didn't have as many. Okay. Oh, but no. there's 11, 11 bridesmaids. He had three. Did you go to this wedding? I didn't go to this wedding. No, I did not go to this wedding. <laughs> he was just a stalker at this wedding. He was he was there, but yeah. Marcus, this is tennis star. Oh, oh what? I'll bleep his name. Please, whoa, 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 bleep. Don't want to throw shade at him, but That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you know? No. I remember seeing it because Fuck. there's like photos of him with every single bridesmaid around him. Oh, what? And it looks like, and he's also a really tall guy. He's he, a huge guy. Because he plays tennis, right? Yeah. And like, here's a photo of him with all he's the bridesmaids. He's a bri- tennis superstar. All the bridesmaids. Far out. Okay, so here's my next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys, you, you said, Tom, that 
the bride had 11. Yeah. And he did not have the same amount. He had about he had, three. He had two, I think. Or two wow. or three, maybe. Yeah. Okay. See, would you guys have a problem with an uneven amount? Because then it looks like an opinion poll. You know for what I mean? Sure. You've got 11 on one side, two on the other. Uh, for sure. I, no, Do you I'm need gonna... the symmetry for the for the photos and all I that mean, type of stuff? At 11, I, I would struggle to find 11 people to be. Yeah. Yeah. My, oh. in, in my bridal do, party. Do, do you feel like the, like she went too far? I was like, I just have to have 11. It's almost no, as if like... No, you could have cut out a few. Yeah. Yeah. These are my girls. Yeah. I've yeah. got to have my girls yeah. in my bridal party. I feel like, I feel like 11's too many. 11 is way too many. Yeah. I would say six is the limit. It could just depend on your friendship dynamic, right? Because if you have people who you think might take offense, she might have just went into... Preemptive damage control and just thought, I can't, everybody. Everybody. All I can't have Britney without having Clara. That's right. Yeah. I can't have Clara if I don't have Sarah. Yeah, I love how you right. can pull out names like at the top of your hat. It's always too. Britney, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's think it's always Britney. It's always uh, Britney. And I know no Britney's. So that, I think that's why I choose That's why you go to Britney. Spears yeah. Tom. Spears, Spears yeah. of course. Yeah. Damn it, of course. Oh, baby, mm. baby. Um, Give me baby. But like that situation where it's yeah. just like, it's easier just to invite. Make everyone uh, bridesmaid, and then the groom, obviously tennis superstar, was yeah. just like, "Nah, well, I can only get three. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I only I'm want three. Try. Yeah, I think try. I think it's difficult because, especially like in a, in in a marriage or in in the wedding sort of scenario, yeah. Yeah. the wife or the husband might not have as many people as the other one. And it's just like, well, do we want symmetry or do we want unevenness? It's not a pissing contest to be like who's got more friends. More it's, popular, not about who's yeah. got, it's not about who's got more friends. I think it's the symmetry is like, all right, let's just say I had. Four people and my future wife to be had three. Yeah, that one guy's just walking at the back, yeah. back of the oh, just, just back of the like the bridal entourage. And now the group, the, par- the bridal party will have their first dance together. Yeah. We ask the bridal party to join. He's just dancing on his own. Or do you pitch it to people as? Oh, the fourth person is the Invisible Woman. Yeah. Oh. And she is there. She is there. But uh, well, they have to pretend house- they're dancing with my- the Invisible Woman. Yes. My housemate, the Invisible Woman, is yeah. there. She is there. She is there, guys. She's filling the numbers there. She's a good great, housemate. We're great she, friends. This pays, is- pays rent on time. She's right. a good woman. There's a movie called The Wedding Ringer yeah. where it's just about, it's about a guy who's getting married and the bride has all of these bridesmaids and yeah. stuff like that. And he has no best man or groomsman. He's basically got no close mates. Isn't that like a love you man too? It's similar to I love so you man. So does he hire somebody? But he hires uh, Kevin Hart, who is the wedding ringer, who will basically set up the whole, you know, I'll be your best man. Yeah. I'll organize a ragtag group of boys mm-hmm. and I'll be your bro. I'll, I'll, sort I'll of give you that experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gives him like the golden tux experience, Fair basically. Enough. He'll learn everything about this guy's life and pretend to be the groomsman. Yeah. Um, Can I guess the conclusion of the film? They become they best friends. become best mates. Yes, because he has a rule where it's just like, it's just purely business. Yep. I don't get attached. Of course. You're, you're literally, just remember, we're not friends. Mm-hmm. But they get they they do become they friends kiss wow. at the end. Spoiler what alert. a twist! Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> he marries Kevin Hart. Spoiler alert! <laughs> he leaves his he wife. Leaves his wife <laughs> <and> Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart and Josh Gad make yeah. out for five yeah. minutes. It's a I weird. It was, it's a weird ending. I thought five minutes was a bit long, but you know what? The director obviously was going for a <laughs> second. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he had an artistic direction he wanted to go into, and that's so, what it was. And I've got an artistic direction <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> But obviously, Ooh. like it could be an issue for people that if they don't have enough sort of um, brides or people to sort of yeah. match it out. But this person specifically, yeah. What do we what do we say to them? What do we say to the invisible man? Do you man? feel it then? <sighs> yeah, I, absolutely. I, I would say 100%. this. I would say this. Obviously, your relationship is not what you think it is. Yep. This person clearly doesn't feel like you're that close of a friend yep. and wants to cut you out of their life. Whereas you're treating her as like your best friend. Yeah. That might <sighs> hurt. I also think it puts a bit of a damper on your own wedding because then it makes you think she's you not look really, at the photos she's not really my and friend, your memories like, of it and you're like, well, this person was my man of honor and it turns out yeah. Yeah. they were not we were, not, we were on the same page, apparently. It's At, hard, though, burns. because, I mean, depending on when you get married, if you have been a part of a whole bunch of brides, like yep. uh, bridal parties and stuff, are you expected to in, like make all of those people that you were in a bridal party what part of your bridal party is that like is that the etiquette e- yeah etiquette. to be like well I was in their bridal party so I should do and not, like add them to mine I feel like in bridal parties now Damien you recently were engaged yes and Tom you have been married I've, I've been, I, I have been engaged yeah, yeah. I've been engaged and yeah. married I feel like bridal parties you can't get offended for not being in everything you can't you can't be yeah. offended no no if I actually it- would prefer not to be in a bridal party <laughs> in a way too much I, work? No, it's not that. No, I, I I like it, but I mean, it's. I don't think you miss out on the day by not being in a bridal exactly. party. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think there's not anything you get a better experience. I mean, you get to be there with your friend, and it means a lot to sort of be part of the bridal of party. Yeah. But as far as the wedding itself goes, weddings are fucking fun no matter what. Yeah, yeah I think exactly. A good time being no part of the bridal party or not doesn't make any difference, and I don't think you should be offended that your friend didn't include you. Yeah. 
even, I think even, she should. The, in this scenario, given yes, this scenario, in this scenario, yeah, yes. But in a general sense, yeah, I feel like yeah. there's three and three, and you get left out. It's just like. 